Hey everyone, welcome to another Create Along. Somebody on one of the Facebook pages for Dreamlight Valley that I am in has requested this dress, very princessy dress. Um, I believe it's from Barbie. I haven't seen it myself, but I said that I could possibly try and redesign this in game and record the process so she and possibly others could recreate it. So instead of that, I thought I'd actually narrate uh, the process, how something like that goes for me. And uh, well, you know, here we're going to go. So it's probably going to be a little bit longer since the, I haven't made this dress. I haven't tried anything. I haven't done anything. So we're just going to start from scratch and see how it goes. And I'm going to uh, take you along with me. So first we're going to go into the customize tool. I'm going to go to the, as always, very last slot that I have. Pick the basic long sleeve gown and we're off. As usual, I go with black. It's the best for silhouette dresses and uh, the gradient for making bigger necklines or sleeves or any of the kind is just better with a black, black gradient. Because the middle part of the gradient gets colored by the actual background of the dress. So let's start with that. I'm going to pick a square. I'm going to pick the skin color that is closest to my skin color. It may vary for you between these, depending on your skin color. I'm going to wrap it and place it here at the neck. Then I'm instantly going to put the gradient over it to get that effect, which is then black. Wrap it and drag it up doesn't need to be perfect at the sides because we just need this. If you want it darker, then darker. If you want it lighter, then all the way up, as far as you can. Let's see. The neckline is with a golden trim. So we're going to go pick gold. We put this. I'm going to duplicate it to the other side and find a good location for it. It can overlap a little bit at the bottom since we're making something there, so that's fine. And this should be okay. Alright. And the basic color of the dress is... And my picture disappeared. One moment, please. <laughs> For some reason, my picture disappeared. There we go. Okay, sorry. Something about timing out on the phone. We're gonna pick this pink. I think that's closest to it. And I'm just gonna start setting up for the rest of the dress, I think. Let's see if I can line this up fairly decent. Put it under the neckline, other side as well. Now, the thing with the wrapping feature on the sleeves is that it does this really weird thing to the back here. Kind of annoying, but there we go. Doesn't matter that this isn't proper because we're going to be working on that a bit further down. Copy it to the other side, put it below the gold again. Right. Take gold again. I'm just gonna make a curve around. I actually rather want this like this. Put some skin color below it. I'm a bit worried about layers at this point. I would much rather not have to worry about this. But 50 layers is all we get. Uh, because of the seam, I'm not going to wrap it, so I'm going to just upsize it. Align it to there. Like that. And put that gradient on. 
in the same fashion. I'm going to pull the camera all the way down because here it's going to skim over to this side, which I don't want. So I'm going to pull the camera down, align this and pull it up so it's not so dark and place it there. It should be okay here and put it below the gold rim again. Okay. And we're going to make the bodice. Which is white. I'm going to take the hexagon here because there's this little bit of a point on the corset. That I want to see if I can replicate. I'm picking this point actually. Um, yeah. See if I can get it what I what I wanted to do. The corset on the picture is a little flatter, so I'm gonna see. I'm just turn it a bit, and that will do. I'm not 100% happy about how this turned out. So I'm gonna redo this. a little bit you have to think about layers here so I could open this point up but that means I'd have to put another layer down there At the same time I need to overlap that pink I don't think I can accomplish both not perfectly in any case It's gonna have to be one or the other. So here goes. It will have to do. Now the corset has this golden stripe at the side. So we're gonna be going here, pick that gold that we have, wrap it and see if we can make a line that comes from there without overlapping onto other things. I can't get it all the way in the point, I think. Not if I want the line to be like this. So we're gonna have to... Either that or I pick the wand. That's an idea, actually. Let's pick the wand. I'm gonna have to make it bigger because we don't want the stars to be down there. bit thinner now we have one line going inwards from there copy it to the other side once you're happy where it is and I'm gonna duplicate it again and then get this line going downsize it a bit of course this button is right in front of it <laughs> so there we go now it's sticking over you can't see yeah, this should be good now it doesn't look nice that it's lying on top so i'm going to actually put it below it so it looks just a little bit better all we have to do now is remove this line here you can omit that if you just want straight stripes. Um, I might have to later as well if I don't have uh, space among my 50 layers. Let's see. Let's get this to align as perfect as we can. I kind of want a nice point here. But I don't think I can accomplish that. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. I guess that will do. On to the bottom of the dress for now. We're gonna pick the pink that we wanted. 
take a square, upsize it all the way. And I'm going to be lying, laying this over the edge of the corset. It doesn't really matter because we're still going to make the, the round sides. I actually want this further back. So we don't have to waste layers here. As much as we can. This, this will do. Like this. And I'm going to fill the entire dress up down here. I'm going to start at the back. Copy it to the other side. And then put one square at the front. The reason for this is that every square that you put has this little lining here, as you can see. That is the same color as the background. By upsizing and downsizing, you can make it a little bit more visible, a little bit less, but it's it's kind of always there. So to omit that as much as I can from the front, I put one big square last at the front. You can barely see it actually, but yeah. Perfectionist, you know, little things. Um, we're gonna scroll all the way down. We're gonna pick this gradient and I'm gonna make it white because the dress has this beautiful white gradient coming from the bottom. Now this is a little too strong, so I'm going to pull it a little further down. Copy it and then align it to the side so we get the whole effect going around. I'm going to overlap it a little and then I'm going to downsize it until it fits perfectly. Copy to the other side and do the same here. Since I didn't place the first one perfectly in the middle, because I've given up on trying to do that perfect. You just need to make sure that both sides are aligned proper. Sticking over a little bit, so I'm gonna, gonna downsize it again until it's perfect. Now, unfortunately the, the nice round things that go from the hip is not perfect round on a dress, especially not on a model like this, because this is not perfectly round. But we don't have any other shapes besides the actual round or the really long oval. So it's going to be a little bit different from, from how the dress actually is. First we're going to do gold. Wrap it. And then size it to about the size that you want. I'm going to align it to here. And see, this is what I, what I mean. The other one goes more like this, but this will be around and I just can't change that. Unless I put a lot of layers into reshaping the circle, but I, I don't have layers. So we're going to have to live with the fact that this is going to be like this and not nicely round like it is on the picture. I hope that's okay. I can make it connect here, upside it I guess to make it the nicest it can be. Just making sure that it's nice at the front and the back. So we want just the white to show at the front. And we want this a little bit better. So. Like this. That I'll have to do. I'm gonna have to fix the back up still. The reason we took gold is because we want the outer lining of it first. So now I'm gonna take this one, copy it to the other side, so we get an exact exact replica of this gold one. Make this one pink, and we're gonna yeah, I can pick a slightly different pink. Or a bit no, I'll take this one. Because of the gradient change of the color of the dress as it is. And downsize it just enough that you get the gold rim the way that you want it and then copy it to the other side i could potentially pull it up so you don't get the gold rim here but only at the bottom but then you get this yeah you get a thicker line here which i don't think is the thing we want let's see that's ah, fine copy it to the other side there, and I have the gold rim. 
with the pink on top. Again, I'm sorry it's not exactly the way that it is on the picture because the shape doesn't allow for it. Um, let's see, we're gonna go to the sleeves. So we have a little gold rim here on the sleeve, so we're gonna go back to gold. Wrap it because we want it big, so it goes around the entire arm. And uh, here you see you can, it starts to do this again, which. Yeah, whatever. This should be about a little above the elbow. So I'm gonna do it before it starts to clip here, which is just one, two ticks down. And copy it to the other side. And then we have the bottom part is white. So I'm gonna pick a square, make it white, wrap it, and turn it so that it's aligned to this. And now we're gonna make sure we have only just a little bit of gold left and copy it to the other side and then we have one more gold trimming here at the bottom so we're gonna take the long one again wrap it again straighten it again and put it there and because we only want the line and not the entire end of the sleeve to be gold we're just gonna put a white one on top Make the rim and copy it to the other side. And that's the, the sleeves. Now I'm just going to fix up the back. I don't have a picture of the back, but I can assume the corset just goes round. So first I'm going to check if this works. I'm going to have to wrap it. Unfortunately, wrapping at the back does this. I mean, what is that? But, okay. Seriously, what is that? <laughs> it's very upsetting. <laughs> I just want a straight, straight line, but I seem to barely be able to do it. Because reasons. Ah, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Now, needless to say, the weird way that they... Ooh, there we go. Ta-da. I'm gonna have to pull this further down because we don't want that to overlap the dress. So we need to go back to where we were initially making the, the corset, which was oops, here. Because that's the front. Scroll, 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 scroll. This is how you break a mouse wheel in this game. Um, further down, further, further up. And put it back there. Now, this is not, of course, not the way that it's supposed to be. That's supposed to be pink, then, in this case. So, I can break the mouse wheel. And get pink. For this, just to save on layers, I'm going to just pick one square. Since it's not going over the neckline with the current bug, it will not be clipping there. And even if it would, I'm going to be dragging it down the layer list. So it will be under these layers that I've put here. So even if I like put this bright red and get this smudge here, yeah, it, the moment that you pull it all the way down below where those layers are, it will not be there. Now, this does need to be over the skin color. And this. See? If you click it, you can see that it smudges over, which I hope they're going to fix this bug. But since it's under the layers, you won't see it anyway. So if you have dresses that have issues with that, see if you can start at the top, at the bottoms, and then work your way down. Because that way, the down layers will cover up any smudging that you might have down there. I was going to make a tutorial on that specific, if the next update doesn't fix it. But now I've mentioned it here. I'm going to pick the pink again, put the square where I want it to be, and voila. So I only have eight layers left, so you know, you go through 50 layers so fast. Scroll until the mouse breaks. Uh, it has an emblem on the front, I see, which is, let's take this rose. Pick the gold again. I'm not gonna wrap it here because wrapping something on the breasts does this 
weird rounding thing, which is not nice. And if you're not working on any roundings, it's not going to stretch anyway. So for just here, it's fine. Let's see if we can make something along the lines of that emblem. Again, I haven't seen a movie or anything, so I'm not sure what it's supposed to represent. So I'm just freelancing here. There we go. And it has a rose. Let's see. You could just go with this. It's not a rose, but and it kind of fades away in the white. Could. But it was just yeah no. It's a shame we don't actually have a proper rose beyond this stained glass one, and the uh, the flourish one. Let's see. If I take this rose, uh, upsize. We can hide this little little thing here. Actually, that works out perfectly. <laughs> the rose is quite big. Uh, on the picture at least. I'm gonna aim it from the top. And I'm gonna put it below these flourishes and then I'm gonna hide the stem. So we just keep the actual rose part. So I'm gonna put white and hide this side. Put it below the flourishes again. And I'm gonna hide the other side. Oh, I wish I could zoom in right now, but I can't. Yeah, there we go. Use the stained glass rose. So, this is a lot of how it was. Maybe that line, that gold lining at the neck should be a little bit thinner. So if I take, oops, take the white, make it not that pink, this pink. See if we can make this a little thinner than what it was before. Copy it to the other side. This actually works out nice. Now the thing is, it's going to be overlapping everything again, so I don't want that. So I need to go back to where I had this gold trim, which is somewhere at the bottom, and overlap it. And scroll until the mouse breaks again. And go all the way down. And put it this is not the one. I think this is the one, yeah. Which for some reason is up there. So I'm gonna put this one below. And I think this is fairly close. I have one layer left, so... It has these doily things, both at the wrist and the neck. But I have one layer left. <laughs> now, let's say you're not too worried about that rose and you were completely fine with picking this to put there, which means it frees up three layers. Then I'm not going to do it here, but then you could potentially take this flourish. Um, it's just a little bit grayish I think it's a bit hard to see wrap it turn it downsize it as much as you can and put it just below the gold here and then copy it to the other side I can't because I have no more layers but if you want to omit doing the rows and the hiding of the stem or you want to have just one icon here at the front maybe one that fits better so you don't use two you can make these instead this is generally how every one of my dresses goes. I make it and then at the end I'm struggling for just a little bit more layers to make the thing I actually want. Like I would want these on both sides and I want to make something that repli uh, replicates those 
doily things there. So this is what I would do for the wrists to create that effect, what you see on the picture. And for the doily, I, you could possibly just go with this white. Yeah, do some, something like this, I guess. Let's see if we wrap it, what happens. Yeah, you could you could put these here, potentially like this. Let's say, copy it to the other side or flip it around. This basically mirrors it. So turn it so then you have this part here and the wavy part at the top. You could also do that, but that's all depending on what you want to do with the final layers. Like I said, you can free up the rows, that's three layers. You can free up this icon with two layers. Make that one and make that one. So then you have room to do either the wrists or the, the thing at the top. I do like the thing at the top. I, maybe if I... See if I copy this to the other side. And I don't know what would fit in the center. I have this, this is from the um, the Ultimate Edition, which not everybody will have. But you could potentially also just put this here. Or put it horizontally. Yeah. This is probably what I would do then. Just see if I flip this around if it's nicer. Let's say do this. Yeah, I think I like that better. Oh, there you go. That's then my version of that dress. Wow, that's really pink. <laughs> Make some pink tips. Or just do this beautiful hair. And there you go. Pick a new necklace that goes with it. That's not matching. That's that's it. That's that's how I would make it. So I hope that what I was doing was clear enough, that I explained it well enough. Um, that you're able to make your version of this beyond the, like I said, the basics of making the dress. Feel free to mess around with all the decoration. You can even just omit these lines. Like the fact that I made it break here is just more layers. And you can just choose to go along with, the, with this seam here. The one that is basically already in the dress. And draw the wand over that instead of having the break here. I just wanted to make it close to what the picture was. So, I hope you uh, you liked it. I hope it helped. I hope you're able to replicate it. And if you do, please show me. I love to see when people replicate my stuff from the creator ones. And um, have a very nice evening, everybody. And hope to see you next time.